Hey everybody, Noel for Sight Outdoors. What a gorgeous day in God's creation. It is just amazing out here today. I'm in central Wisconsin. It's the last week of the Wisconsin archery season. And um, it's actually New Year's Eve, December 31st. And um, I got out of the office a little early today so that I could quick get up in my tree stand. Problem is I got out here kind of late and um, decided to leave the camera. Carnal sin, I know, I apologize. Hurried up, got my tree stand. Seriously guys, I wasn't in my stand 15 minutes and this buck came in, put a real nice shot on him. He actually went down right in view of my tree stand and um, it's right up here a little ways. We'll get up there and I'll show you. I'm excited. Okay guys, it's getting dark here so I gotta, I gotta move quick here but I'm back up in my stand and um, I'll show you here where we're at. Sorry for the shaky camera movement. Okay. The buck came from right in that direction. And see that angled tree right there? The one that kind of right through there is where he came through. Came right under that tree. Came walking right up through there. And right below that horizontal branch there. You, maybe you can kind of see the trail that goes in through there. And he actually, right, right there is where I shot. My arrow's actually right over there in the snow somewhere. He actually ran, right, actually stopped right back in there. And then he went right, get him here. Yeah, so I shot him right down in here, and he ran around right up in there. So let's go check him out. Let's okay. see if we can find my arrow. Let's see. Standing. And there's some hair. You can see right down there. I'm not seeing any marks where my arrow might have sliced into the snow. Actually, maybe it stayed in it for a little while. So, here's where he ran. sticking out dragging in the snow here. It's amazing there's no blood yet. Just amazing. You know this should be a lesson to you. Here's his tracks. I'm ten feet from the buck. And I don't see any blood yet. Just amazing. Oh, there he is. Right there. Get around the log here. There's the first spot of blood. Right there. And there's my arrow. Fell off right in the tree here. Amazing. Head actually worked itself kind of loose. That's amazing. Uh, 
I need a cameraman here with me today. There he is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, actually seven. I mean, just three on this side and three with a brow tan on this side. A little bit of junk underneath here. Not a monster buck, but um, you know what, this late in the season and given this area that we're hunting here in Wisconsin, um, we'll take them. Nice bodied deer. Actually what I'm going to be using to clean them today is the Havilon, little Havilon knife. Um, I got my big knife with too, but um, um, I've heard good things about these. I've got the replaceable blades on them. And so we're going to give it a workout here on this, this nice, nice white tail. So, um, point I'd like to make, you know, you guys were with me when we followed that blood trail in. And um, this deer, actually the first blood that was on the snow, was literally 10 feet away from it. And, you know, obviously by the pool of blood that's coming out of his mouth, quite certain I caught the top of the, with the lung and the, and the throat kind of all connect, and probably the heart as well, considering how far he went. My tree is right there, 40 yards away. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's an important thing to note that you don't always get that instant blood like you hope you would. So, um, there's something to keep in mind. Let's get him cleaned up. The other thing, the other thing is, I'm gonna just confess it right now. I forgot latex gloves. I normally always have a set of latex gloves with me, but believe it or not, the other day, my daughter needed my help. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I helped color her hair. <laughs> You know, the gloves that they send with these hair kits are flimsy, they tear when you put your hands in them. Guys, they're not made for guys' hands. So I knew where I had a pair of latex gloves, so I ran and grabbed them out of my pack. And I got a whole box of them down in my, in my storeroom downstairs, and I just didn't replenish them, and I'm kind of regretting it now. But um, I do have some, some field wipes with to get cleaned up with, but I highly recommend always using latex gloves when you're cleaning any kind of game animals. Dressed and ready to leave. Let's see if we can find the, where the arrow went through here. Yep. Took out the bottom of the heart. Right through the bottom of the heart. I'll take him out real quick. Hey everybody. No old first light outdoors. Thanks for joining me out here tonight. Again, I thank y'all for watching. I thank God for blessing me with this beautiful animal. And um, I pray that you spend some time outdoors, even in January, December 31st, late season bow hunting. It's phenomenal, love it. So take it easy, make it a great day, and God bless. We'll catch you next time.